Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Vicarious Foundation. This is episode 9, I believe. And there's a lot to go over at the start of this episode. Um, where should I begin? Well, you may have noticed I do not have anything in my inventory, and you probably guessed it, I died. And I lost everything. When I say everything, I mean all my levels, all my items. My Leech up, my Trident, everything. And the reason why I died, as I should begin with that, is because... The basic fact that... Well, I... I AFK'd somewhere where I shouldn't have AFK'd, and I died. I was AFKing, and all my items despawned. And I died twice AFKing. So as you can see, I died twice. Two more deaths, I'm at 15 deaths. I'm catching up to Fitzy, and I'm to Villager. Um... So it's kind of a problem, I guess. I, I need to work on my base and my security and stuff. But to start with, I want to spend most of this episode getting my stuff back and getting new tools, etc. I might go end rating today, but I might just that might be next episode. Episode ten could be end rating. That's what next episode will be. Um, this place needs a lot of um cleaning up. You can see how clus clustered everything. Like oh, this ram shirt being everywhere. But to start with, I'm gonna show you guys the new farm that I built. Out in the ocean. So I out in the ocean. I built a farm, and it's it's just one of those farms that it's this is how I died. So I'll show you guys where I died, how I died, etc. But it's one of those annoying little things that um um that you could have easily I could have easily prevented it from happening, except I forgot about it, and so I got killed by Phantom. If you didn't guess, um and so. So up here's my farm, you can see it now. Oh, it's Phantom's up there now. What's well, nighttime, isn't it? Well, I'm not getting too long, I'll go back. Alright, so the Phantoms are burning now. And I'm not sure you guys what this farm is. So, it is um, an industrial pumpkin farm, is what I'm going to call it for now anyways. And... Phantom's dying. I wonder if anybody can drop their membrane things. I don't think they can attack me, they're burning. I don't think they can. So, um, what it is, it, it's a really... It's a, Humongous, hum humongous version of the pumpkin. Even the pumpkin melon farm I have in the bottom of my base. And is that a skeleton horse? Sorry, I didn't keep getting distracted, but. And don't they get. Don't they like exploding it too close? Oh, yeah, they do. Yep, there's nothing they can do. <laughs> They're stuck underwater. Oh, they're all dead. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move away. Anyway, so, um, this, um, so it produces a silly amount of pumpkins and stuff. It's pretty soon I'm gonna be doing stuff with villagers, which is what I actually might do today, because it'd be a really good way of getting my stuff back if I have vill villager traits and stuff. It's just all around a good way of getting good tools and good weapons and stuff. And I can make some good trades with people for stuff like that. But as you can see, a silly amount of pumpkins overnight. I died here in the AFK place. So all, all I had, it, it was like a barrel at first. So I had this little trapdoor on top. I had these little things around it. But at first that was it. And phantoms can kill you through doors and stuff like that. Apparently they can. I had no idea. So I got absolutely destroyed by, by one. And... Yeah, and they lost everything, so please, they can't hurt me now, so I, I came here overnight and I didn't guess, take us any damage at all. So, now I have this, um, this farm, and I guess all there is now to do is, um, work together some stuff that I need, and my plans for this episode is to get some villagers back, back to, the, back to, um, the main island, and to start trading with them and getting lots of resources. That's what those pumpkins are going to be used for. Getting lots upon lots upon lots of resources. I also want to start by just getting a maybe basic set of um, iron tools and stuff. So I've gathered some basic stuff, I guess, and it's very basic, just cobblestone, arrow, a bow just in case. I'm going to nether for this, obviously. I'm not going to bring it back manually. <laughs> but to open the overworld, that'd be, that'd be absolutely horrific. But, so I'm going to go... This is a community nether portal that Fitzy built. Thank you, Fitzy. That's very handy. So, I'll go in here, and I will show you guys the way of where the villager the village is. So, me and I'm the villager. We made a kind of like a path there. All manually. So, there should be wood right on the other side as well. Ooh. 
not looking good. Oh well, I can grab some wood from here. Uh, so up on the surface, right above me right now, is a, um, city on that. Um, up there on the surface is a village, so I'm gonna push villagers down this hole. <laughs> this is gonna be awful, I'm just gonna say that right now. This is gonna be a tedious process. All these little capsules are little villagers that we found that were really good, like farmers and librarians. So we put them all in those little netherrack cubes, kind of, so they wouldn't get killed by villagers. It's kind of like, because they're not really that they're not really that bright, so they'll just sit there and let themselves get attacked by um, zombies. So I'm gonna get a bed quick, because I don't want them to get- Because if, if I'm gonna be letting them out, then I need to um, make sure that there's no zombies. Two, and... Uh, three. Alright, there we go. I need a crafting table. I'll need some more wood as well. Tree. I don't need as much, but I might as well grab- I'm gonna need both as well later, so I'm gonna have to grab extra wood anyways. Let's see, I think I can craft it now. And, there we go. So, bed. Slap the bed down. Alright, there we go. Alright. So. I'm just gonna leave the bed. My spawn point can be set here, it's fine. Um. So. I'm going to have to get a boat. Many boats, probably. Yep, that's probably enough. So, to start with, I want to um, get a clear path and where the. where I need to bring them, I guess. So, they, they all have to go, obviously, over here somewhere. Um, and let me find a little place to build like cobblestone pillar there. Right here, I bet. Nope, not there. Is it here? Yep, yeah, it's there. Sheep, there. Bad sheep. There we go. Some extra meat just in case I need it. Um, so I'm gonna get them down there. It's gonna be a bigger tunnel. Oh my gosh! Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to make a shovel and stuff. Then. All right, make another crafting table. I think there's gonna be different stations I bring them to. I think. Yeah, I think that's how this is gonna end up working. So I'm gonna push the villagers. Once they get to this point, then they'll be safe from outside world stuff. And hopefully And then at that point, once I push them up this little ramp over here. And then hopefully they'll start wandering down the slope. I'm actually gonna block that tunnel off for now. Um, there we go. So I'll push the villagers up here. So I'll probably like put the boat. So I'll bring the boat to like right here. I'll break the boat. I'll push the villagers up, and then they'll fall in here. And then I'll go grab another one. So I'm gonna have. I'm, I'm gonna start by building a little like a. Uh, boats can't go up or down blocks. I wish they could, but they can't. So I'm gonna build a. Uh, Bridge. Guys, yeah, so I have gotten the villagers through the nether. It took forever, by the way. It took so long to get them through the nether. It was a pain. Since I only have these kind of tools and I only have so much armor, I didn't take a dent in my armor, but it was just a pain. And so, as you can see, I put the villagers under here. This was this was yesterday, so I don't. So it's been a little while, but they're all down here, nice and safe. From any zombies that may attack them. And if you go down, I am only bringing these ones, these are the only ones I'm bringing back for now, anyways. If you come down here, you can see that I've got a farm. This is the most important one, the farmer. So I can trade wheat, I can automate that with my um, nano farm. Potatoes, uh, nano farm. Carrots, nano farm. And this is just a. I can buy bread, I don't want bread. But um, if I continue, if I can trade with him, I unlock new trades. And the new trades I can get are. Um, I can get trade for um, pumpkins in. And I have paid for pumpkins. I have. A d one and a half, it scared me. One and a half double chests of pumpkins right now. More than that. And I have loads of sugar cane, so I can trade paper in for this guy. And then I get loads and loads and loads. Like, when I say loads, I mean lots of loads. And then I can get armor from the armorer, which is he'll sell diamond chest plates in a little while. And then I, once I get there's a toolsmith in the nether still, I was too lazy to bring him back. So. so, you gotta. This is the last villager, so. Any other villagers I'm gonna get uh, later time, or I, I'm also gonna, these villagers are in a temporary place as well. Um, I'm gonna use this as a villager breeder kind of thing later, so I, I don't want. 
how am I gonna do this? Um, I don't want this to. I want this to be. I want this to end up being, I have vill every single kind of villager, and they're all, like, a mending book villager, that's what I want here. A villager breeder will help me get that. I, in the village that I was at before, there's no mending book villagers in that, in that village, as far as I saw, and I'm, they're, they're, they're like a rare, rare kind of villager. Like, librarians also have a 5% chance of spawning. That's why I brought this one back. It was actually pretty lucky to find both farmers and librarians. I, I don't I'm not, I'm not sure about the 5% chance, but I'm pretty sure that they're... And almost as rare. I think it might be. I have no idea. I haven't, I haven't looked at charts in a while. But I know as a fact. Um. No, no, no. Don't run. Don't, don't run over there. Holy cow! What was he doing? Okay. This time I'm gonna put some blocks up. That was weird. He spreads it off. And that might, that might mean there's a zombie or something. I, I'm gonna turn this into like a room kind of, so they can't. So no, no zombies can get. I need them to be safe. Not, not. They don't. I don't want them not to be safe. That'd be annoying. Because, once again, they're kind of, they're very useful for trading and stuff, so I gotta, you in your cell thing. It's not a cell, it's more like, I mean, to be, to be fair, they're, they're villagers, so they want to trade and stuff, so I gotta trade with them, so put, put them in there. And there we go, guys, so, that's all done. So now I just wanna, I, I wanna put up, like, a, I want them to be, they're not safe for, as they are right now, so I wanna get some extra barricades up here, or make sure no zombies can get them 100%. So, a good place to start would be putting, like, doors and stuff on, I guess. I guess I want to put, like, different trades up on the... This is the blacksmith. Arm... Armor... Armor? <laughs> I'm just gonna do armor. And then, librarian. I'm sorry if I spelled these wrong, guys. I'm pretty sure that's right, though. And then, farmer. So, pretty much, this is the guy that'll sell me my armor. This is the guy that, that'll trade paper with for emeralds. This is the guy who'll trade in food for, well, different products for emeralds. And then, I can, well, then this guy takes emeralds for stuff. So, I have to unlock all the trades first, obviously. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this episode, guys.